everybody. Welcome back to Fairy Fox Design. I'm so excited to have an adult model because these guys, oh my gosh, they are big kids. That's all they are. So don't be intimidated when a grown up sits in your chair and says, paint me next. I'm going to show you one of my favorite tiger designs that I love to bust out whenever somebody says, I don't know what I want. It's like, I know what you want. <laughs> so let's get started. If you want to learn more about how to earn your stripes, check out my latest Skillshare video. But let's get started with this tutorial. And so if their makeup is done, you can even leave the eye alone and just incorporate it in. And I'm adding some white and then I just want a little bit of like a giant wing tip right there. And then I come into the center here and we're going to add a strike down. And we're looking at where the ear touches the head down to the corner of the mouth. This is the line that we want to follow for a cat. So I'm going to just add that line in. Always spray your sponge and not your paint. It'll save the life of your paint. I'm going to just pull some of these warmer colors right here. Maybe grab a little bit of that green. You can choose whatever colors you want, whatever matches their outfit. Doing this in just gold is one of the prettiest. And then we're just going to do two stripes of color. So we're going to do one right here. I like to flip it so that it goes the other way. We might not even get some green down on the bottom one work it on right up into the hair so that the design disappears. While it's wet, it's great to put the glitter on because for this design, I want the sparkle to last. So I'm touching very lightly, so I'm not moving the color around too much. And I love to use multiple colors of sparkle. So we've got the gold and the orange. We'll add the green too. Let's get our stripes on. I like to think of them as a little more on the zebra side than tiger. We want a lot that go together really well. If the eyebrow's in the way, fight with it. <laughs> Just make it happen. And then any line that we do on this design, we want to go up and down. We're going to add some eyeliner here. Come up. We want to do a lot of line work here and a lot of line work here, but everything is flowing down the face. So we've got lines coming down, but it's also pointing up. We can add another line coming down. And another reason that we put the glitter on before the lines is so that these lines don't have glitter on top. So now we're just going to add a second black line coming in right here. And then see how we got thin to thick, and now we're going thick again, and then we'll pull down here into thin. And then we want, wherever the lines are going to obviously end, we want to end with some little tiger cheetah freckles there. And then let's add a few little spots here because this is where this one's ending. And then let's add in a few lines right here. So we've got this one that can come into the eye right there and up. We've got this one that's going to come down. Finishing off, let's add those little spots. Right, and you can decide based on what colors you've used and everything, whether or not you want to add the white dots. I typically don't, but I want to today to just show you what that looks. So you can add just a couple little white dots in there too. I'm going to do silver and anywhere that we have the white powder here, we're just going to add this chunky glitter. And it's just a nice way to create a boundary between the design and the unpainted face. Instead of just being like, oh, I have a little sticker that looks like a tiger. It makes it feel like she's going to be part tiger and part not. And you can see that that just kind of pulls it all together. Oh, I love it. It's great. 